Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Mix from the Next Creation. By the way, if it's your first time coming across this channel, consider supporting this channel. In today's video, we, we are going to look at what you call the six months contract, the three months contract that are moving on right now. You know, remember, we have what you call the FIFA World Cup. Most of you, you know what it means. There have been very many opportunities around being recruited uh, agents from different countries, from Africa, from Asia, recruiting people to come and be part of the big tournament of the FIFA World Cup. That will be on November until December, November 21st until December 2022. Remember, very many opportunities are being created in what we call the hospitality, in um, security departments, cleaning departments, hotels, housekeeping, cleaners, security guards, lifeguards, in all this one month, there are a lot of opportunities and a lot of very many people that are being recruited to come to Qatar, uh, to have visas to come to work. But something that we need to understand is, you know, most of the recruitments that have been coming in, they have been on what we call a six month contract, six months or three months. Remember, when you have a FIFA World Cup, you are entitled to what you call a visa visa of three months. That is starting from October, November, December. Those are three months visa visa for people who are ticket holder of the World Cup. If you have bought a ticket and you're not living in Qatar, you have those three months to stay in Qatar. So meaning that there will be a varsity of opportunity roles that you're supposed to do. But the main point of discussion right now is about the six month contract and the three months contract. Would you really invest in the six months contract or three months contract? Let's say for example, this agent is asking uh, uh, some amount of money for you to come and work for the six months contract or three months contract for the particular job, let's say for example housekeeping or security or any, are you going to do it? By the way, something that you need to know, most of this contract or six month contract or three months contract, you find that their salary, the salary the company is giving you is much more higher compared to a person who is coming on a work visa of two, of two years contract. But what does it mean? This is a short time period work. This is six months, this is three months. Yes, for the first perspective, you may look at the salary being higher for the three months. Let's say, for example, a normal security guard right now in Qatar, if he works 30 days minus off, he's getting 2,000, an approximately of 2,000. And if you're working eight hours and eight hours, you'll get 1,000 plus 300, that is the basic for food. But remember, this six months contract and three months contract, you find that a security guard is being hired and is getting for eight hours, this security guard is getting 2,000, which almost higher for the person who is on work visa for two years contract. But what does it mean? This amount of money you are going to get for the six months, for the three months, is not going to stay for a longer period of time. And remember, when these recruiting agents are recruiting, they will definitely need that amount of commission they need. Let's say, for example, the, the recruitment agent is recruiting from your country and he needs 4,000 Qatar real. He will need that. But remember, you are going to come to work for six months or three months, which you are not assured of the existence of the job after the World Cup. It is not sure. You are not sure. It is not 100% that you are you will have the job after the World Cup because your contract is three months and your contract is contrary six months. So meaning that after the FIFA World Cup, after your contract, you will definitely have to go out of the country. So meaning that you've not really even covered up what you paid to the commission agent. So what could be the advice? I think six months, three months, it will not be a bad deal. But remember, when you are coming, know that this is a short lived contract that after the contract these companies will let you go away remember for you to stay in qatar here you will need what you call for you to change you need what you call a no objection certificate you will need a letter that from your employer to let you stay here or to look for a new job but remember you came on a three months contract and six months contract how are you sure that this employer is going to give you a no objection certificate you're not sure because remember, by that time, old people, the employees will be very many. And very many people, some businesses will have to close out. That some businesses are definitely there because of the FIFA World Cup. After the FIFA World Cup, those businesses will close up. 
So meaning that there will be a lot of influx of already there will be too many people, uh, too many employees. And what the companies do, they will be having to dispatch of the excess. So you are not sure in one way or the other. So um, um, to my point of view, if you are choosing that contract, choose it wisely. Knowing that it's not going to be 100% you're going to stay in the country, no. And if you try to run away, they will definitely track you out. Remember there are what we call overstays in one way or the other. You cannot run away. And when the overstay gets too much, that means you fall in trouble. So whatever you, you have and you have that three months contract, six months contract, sit down and ana analyze it brightly. Is it giving you a go ahead? Sit and first discuss with yourself or with your brain and what are your, your end target. If it is moving, then you can move. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation. See you again in the next video. By the way, don't forget to subscribe and subscribe and support this channel. Hit the notification bell. Give up the thumbs up. If you feel there's something that we need to talk about, press it in the comment section. I'll be very, uh, very grateful to get back to you. See you again in the next video. It's Max from the Max Creation team.